Warning, this video you are about to watch contains spoilers for Wings of Fire, Book 15, Flames of Hope, so uh, if you haven't finished reading it or haven't read the book yet, I advise clicking away. Thank you. Hello everyone, I have just finished reading uh, Wings of Fire, The Flames of Hope, and I have a lot of mixed feelings and uh, thought about uh, I could, well, spit them out here in this video. Towards the beginning of the book, it was your usual goodbyes and hugs and flying towards Pintala. But when Luna and the other nine or so dragons were attacked by some advanced Silkwing scouts mixed with hives, Hivewings in there, I felt optimistic about what would happen throughout the book. But after this fight was over and some of them were captured, they had this little argument about what to do next, which I didn't seem to mind. Soon after those events were over, however, they both split up into two groups one where they would hide and try to find the abyss, and the other one would go and try to rescue the captors. This is where I believe we would have two perspectives when they split up, one with Luna and the others with Sundu and the rest of them, but of course, all we got was Luna, which really just only focused on her. Now I understand that this book was supposed to be centered around the main protagonist, but a little bit of the other perspectives would have been nice is all I'm trying to insert because we really never get to see them until the good majority of the book is really almost over. Now we have this huge chunk of the book where Luna and her group just sits around and hides waiting for Ren to find something out with the uh, humans and I argue that this was counterproductive and this time frame should have been used to have Luna follow Ren which would have provided interesting reactions or have Luna explore Pentala after the Overmind really took the continent over, you know, because a little bit of exploring in my mind wouldn't hurt, so to speak. After Luna and her group decides to pursue after to find the Abyss, they stumble in an underground establishment where Lady Jewel and some of the other Hivewings and mostly Silkwings hid after the, after the other mind took over Pentala. In this segment of the book, I was actually quite interested when they introduced a small hiding group, but when the author started to drag the weight out even more when finding the abyss with Ren trying to dig for information, I personally soon became bored once more when reading because I thought this was just a filler for what was about to really happen. As we finally move to the part where Luna actually stumbles into the abyss with Dusky, we finally get a lot of interesting backstory and origins of the other mine and where it actually came from, including why the scorching even happened, which I thought was a really neat touch by the author. Honestly, the whole sector with Luna, Dusky, Cottonmouth, and Freedom was Fine in my opinion with the author exploring their personalities, when it came to defeating the abyss and stopping it, I thought there was going to be a great showdown with a huge fight with Wasp or Cottonmouth or hell even Freedom, but in reality Luna just cut each vine which severed the brain of the plant and shortly after Luna just burned the original vine which killed the plant. Even though I was sort of disappointed, I could say that I did indeed enjoy reading this section and I cursed the author jokingly for playing with my emotions when Luna had to kill Freedom. In the end, everyone was freed and a new nation called Leaf Silk Kingdom, I believe, was formed with a council of dragons leading it. The, hive, the Hivewings were then ruled by Lady Jewel, now called Queen Jewel, I think, I don't know, I I'm calling her that now. Former Queen Wasp was later thrown into the Silkwing Cavern and imprisoned. Wrapping up my thoughts about the book, I believe it was fine concluding towards the end of arc 3, albeit a bit soft though. What I would like to see in the future is perhaps a series of novels defining what happened after the events of arc 3, or maybe even more winglets, who knows. Anyway, thanks for listening to me ramble about the New Wings of Fire book. Like and subscribe if you want to see more. See you soon.